Hey, people, pizza eaters, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be having some burgers. I got some Coke. And I'm also going to be having the Flamin' Hot Sour Cream and Onion Cheddar Chips. Let's crack this boy open. This is a steak burger. I put some burger sauce, um, grilled onions and raw onions, lettuce and tomatoes. I'm the King's Hawaiian bun, so it's like this little sweet bun. Yeah. It's messy bush so far. I want to talk about <clears throat> imposter syndrome and how to deal with like navigating imposter syndrome. I deal with it a lot. I get in these head spaces where it's like, no matter what I'm doing, no matter what area, what lane, I'm in, I get in these uh, ruts where it's like, I don't think I'm good enough. And I know a lot of people are dealing with it. I know that probably some of the people who follow me are dealing with it. So let's chat about it a little bit. Like, I just want you to know like whoever is watching this, like you are amazing. You have purpose, like, if you feel like you're not good enough or you're inadequate, it's not true. So your brain is wired to protect you and what feels safe and what feels familiar. Um, what feels familiar is safe. It makes you feel safe. And what that is just being comfortable. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be comfortable.
nothing wrong with wanting to be comfortable. But just getting comfortable with like not trying your best or not reaching your goals can be detrimental. It happens to me all the time and I have to like fight with my brain and my body to get it together. And you are enough and you are special and you do have a purpose. I say all of that to say, if you want to go for something like social media and get monetized and, you know, potentially make money just being yourself on the internet, I say do it. Right now it's a great time. Like Meta just updated their like their uh, algorithm for Instagram. So now it's like, if you have quality content and you are making quality content and you have a niche and you have a lane, like now is a great time to make content. Like, ain't nothing wrong with wanting to nothing wrong with wanting to be out there nothing wrong with wanting to be out there and getting a piece of the pie you know I say do it now before they start having super big regulations on like how much money you can make. I say get on YouTube too. If you want to get out and do YouTube, literally I have a storefront full of everything that you need to get started. Everything that I have used and are in that and continuing to use is in this in the description. So you don't have to like search for anything you can just shop right there from the storefront everything that you need even like a 4k camera that it I think it's under like 200 dollars or you can upload with your phone i record on my phone The only thing that this burger is missing is a um, thick piece of bacon. That's the only thing that this is missing, some bacon. But yeah, get out here, make your content. gatekeeper I can gatekeep <laughs> but the thing is I stopped 
I stopped doing YouTube four years ago. I took like a three and a half, four year break. It was like when COVID, when COVID hit, that's when everybody blew up on TikTok and Instagram and all of the social media platforms. I should have been trying to get that social media pandemic money, you know? But I went a different route. I was like, I'm gonna start a business. I was real inspired. I was like, I'm gonna start a business. I'm gonna see how this go. And, and, and I'll be celebrating four years of having a business and I'm on Amazon. If y'all if y'all were interested and y'all want me to link my uh products, I'll uh link my products in the description. I have body wash, I mean sorry, Yoni wash, scrub, body scrub, Yoni steam, personal hygiene, feminine hygiene type stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't say I regret it because I don't ever have regrets. I'm a firm believer that everything that happens, it leads you to the right path, but it leads you where you should be in life. I'm a firm believer on that. Like, nothing is a coincidence. Nothing just happens off of happenstance. Like, it's just not a random thing. Like, I believe that there's like a lot of predestined, pre-written stuff written in the sky, written in the clouds. <laughs> the truth right though that that combination was just like yeah <laughs> oh i think i'm finishing all my food today y'all sorry if my if i'm thinking all over the place but yeah that's what i wanted to say just want to enjoy this burger with you give you some pep talk Tell you not to give up. Forget your haters. Not everybody gonna like you, and that's okay. This is the same stuff I tell my daughter. Because I have a teenager now. Like when I started this channel, she was eight years old. My baby just turned 13. So naturally, I'm just like nurturing and being a mama bear just comes naturally. This was so fire. Like, this was a really good combination. And the burger sauce was just like French dressing, garlic, garlic salt, 
You could use garlic powder, but I only had garlic salt. Onion powder, <clears throat> pepper, a little bit of sugar, like literally not even a full teaspoon, like literally like a sprinkle of sugar. Um, you could put mustard if you want. Um, ketchup, Japanese mayo, onions, excuse me, um, a little bit of dill pickle. So basically like a Thousand Island, but I didn't have Thousand Island. Yeah, that French dressing made it taste just like Big Mac sauce. I could have easily had three burgers, bro. I should have made three. They was so good. Oh God, <clears throat> so I'm full. I got a couple of chips left. Probably not even gonna finish them. I'm, I'm getting really full. But if you are new here and you've made it this far, go ahead and like this. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you feel inclined. If you are returning, welcome back. And yeah. I appreciate every single one of y'all for tuning in. Thank you so much, my purple piece of eaters. Until next time, peace.